Michael, in your latest piece, which is entitled Inside the GOP's Latest Desperate Attempt to Smear Joe Biden, you write in part, if you get your news on planet Earth, you agree with me that the biggest news story of last week was the federal indictment of Donald Trump. If, however, you get your news on planet Wing Nadia, you have been led to believe that while the Trump matter certainly was news, the bigger deal by several orders of magnitude was the proof that emerged last week that Joe Biden took a $5 million bribe from Ukraine and that Representative Jamie Raskin lied about it. Help me out here because on the day of the indictment, I, you know, it drives Joe crazy, but I watch Fox News yeah. and Newsmax and other outlets to see what they're saying. And when the indictment came out, <clears throat> Especially on Fox, it was like, ooh, this is serious. You had a lot of um, analysts and legal analysts, uh, yeah. uh, people who Turley. often, right. yeah, Turley, yeah. Um, saying this is really bad. But as the hours went on <laughs> <laughs> and you went to 5, 6, and 7 o'clock at night, all of a sudden it was all about Joe Biden and Hunter, and there was a lot of screaming. Yeah. So tell me about this bribe and the proof of it and all the reporting around it. It must be very serious. Well, oh, it must be, yes. Well, you know, the big picture here is everything we've been talking about here for these last several minutes the Republicans know, and the right-wing media outlets know. They know that they're about to hitch their wagon to the most corrupt man who's ever been president or run for president. So part, the flip side of that coin is that they have to dirty up Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. They have to get people to think that Joe Biden is But they've been trying corrupt, for a very long time for a time very, to very do long that. time, right. And this supposed $5 million bribe that he allegedly took from somebody in Ukraine is an old story. Rudy Giuliani was peddling it many years ago, and it was, and, and uh, Bill Barr, when he was attorney general, appointed a special prosecutor to look into it, Scott Brady, who was the mm -hmm. U.S. attorney for Western Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't know exactly what he did. I know that he interviewed Giuliani once for several hours, but he never did anything. He's, he never brought any charges. He's back in private practice. It's apparently dropped, although the U.S. attorney in Delaware is supposedly looking into it. But look, you know, do I know for a fact that Joe Biden, Biden never took a bribe? Well, of course not. Anything's possible, I suppose. But I do know for a fact that a couple of things. Joe Biden's been in public life for half a century. Yeah. And we've never seen any financial scandal attached to his name, number one. Number two, they have to make Joe Biden dirty. Right. They have to make him corrupt. And, and, and I think that probably, uh, Michael, they're going to use every angle they can him, his son, yeah. Yeah. the family. Uh, they've even started this, uh, uh, in this in in a whisper campaign, especially in uh, red states in the South, that you're really voting for Kamala Harris yeah. uh, because Joe won't uh, be around uh, to be president. I think Nikki Haley said he won't last two years. I mean, she said this out <laughs> loud. Yeah. I think we're going to see some of the ugliest campaigning we've seen in our lifetime. Oh, yeah, I think without question. And then, you know, Trump, you know, they've run ugly campaigns. And I say in the article that you quoted from, I mean, it, it's been part of the, the, the uh, M.O. since since Clinton, certainly, uh, to say a lot of things about Democrats' character that are just simply untrue. Think of all the things that were said about Barack Obama. He's a Muslim and born in Kenya and so forth. So, but they're going to do that. They're going to double down, quadruple down now. And, you know, you, you see Trump saying that the Biden family is the most corrupt family. Yeah. And, and so on. Buckle yeah. up. Yep. Editor of the New Republic, Michael Tomaski, thank you. National thank correspondent you. for Politico, Betsy Woodruff Swan, and Harvard Law School professor. Jeannie Sue Gerson, thank you very much for being on this morning.